Okay, so harmless reality Ladies show, or just dumbing us down for more and more surveillance and facial recognition on us. I'll leave you to, to decide on that yourself. But going by this show, you watch this show when it airs on July 17th, and you decide yourself whether or to what extent premiers like Anastasia Palaszczuk, Dan Andrews, Mark McGowan, and even Paratech are going to love this type of technology to keep track of all of those people who don't agree with them and don't want to do what they say in the next pandemic or the next lockdown because it is going to come. These premiers got so much power the, the last two years that they will not hand it over lightly and if they can lock us down again they will. Now we can stand up against this facial recognition software, we can continue to wear masks around because that was the best thing that this pandemic had was wearing masks everywhere because it, it interrupted their algorithms and their facial recognition. So I've put a picture in the corner of um, an eBay mask, so do we have to keep wearing masks like that and sunglasses and hats in order to keep our lives that little bit private from the government? We just, we don't know what they use this um, footage for. And yes, this footage or data and on people is absolutely priceless in order to hunt people down. Imagine what will happen when we get into what China has, where you need your facial recognition to get paid or to withdraw money from your bank. Just imagine that if someone else has got your data. Now just check out this quick clip from um, Channel 10 News and see what you think of it. at five schools across Australia to mark the classroom roll and has already been tested at Clarendon College in Victoria. It scans a person's face to mark their attendance in class, sending the information to an app, potentially on a teacher's smartphone. Who's going to get this data? What are they going to do with it? Because data is now uh, regarded as the new oil. Looplearn says it's in schools in part thanks to a federal government grant of almost half a million dollars. Looplearn refuses to say which five schools are trialling its system, but once boasted of a waiting list of more than 10. We're really sleepwalking into a surveillance society. And yes, many people are sleepwalking and many people have already been dumbed down. There's so many laws now about photographing kids, but now schools want to do it every single morning and no, no computer data is 100% safe. Okay, I've also got now a series of um, news articles that have been going for the last few years just to show how long it's been that this, these states have wanted to get this facial recognition software in. We've all seen these, this footage during the pandemic of what these police in these states have been doing, how they've been abusing people. Do we want that to continue with even more powers for them? Or do we want to keep a little bit of anonymity to ourselves, unlike the CCP in China, which is pretty much how we're going to end up? Yes, there are cameras everywhere in society, on the streets and things like that, everywhere we go, but they are not all using this um, facial recognition software at present, but they soon will be. So come on, people, stand up. It's time to say no. Go out there and wear masks and glasses. And so what would you rather? You'd rather, rather be dumbed down and hand everything to them on a silver platter or you'd rather take action and take measures so you can keep your anonymity. It's entirely up to the people of Australia. Blessings, everyone. Please stay safe. Get you, get you, get you one word.